Okay, Endgame is in like two weeks. We gotta get some more headway into these films. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd B-Sides editions. I'm your host, Zach Snyder, and on the B-Sides, take a look at anything and everything in the same format as your everyday nerd. They're just shorter, unsponsored episodes. We are continuing our road to Endgame. When it comes to the majority of the MCU, I've only seen a lot of these films once. This just so happens to include the first Captain America film, The First Avenger. Will it hold up as a solid entry in the franchise? Is it worth watching before Endgame, whether you've seen this franchise or not? Is Chris Evans better as Captain America than he was as the Human Torch? Let's take a look. I know this neighborhood. I got beat up in that alley. You just don't know when to give up. I could do this all day. For those that don't know anything about it, Captain America The First Avenger is the fifth film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, released in 2011 and directed by Joe Johnston. This is the only film that he directed in the MCU. This is the last standalone film in Phase 1 before the legendary Avengers film came out in 2012. The First Avenger tells the origin story of Steve Rogers, a young man that, while physically weak, has a heart of gold and an ambition to join the United States Army during World War II. After being turned down multiple times by the Army because of asthma and, well, he's, he's a very small man, after receiving help from a kind doctor, he's able to enlist, paving the way for him to become the subject of the Super Soldier Experiment, creating the very first Avenger. Captain America. The first Avenger does a lot of things right when looking at the scope of the MCU. Unfortunately, it also tends to fall short in pacing and plot. On one hand, we get a lot of world building here. Tony Stark's father, Howard Stark is in the film, the creation of S.H.I.E.L.D., the Tesseract is shown once again and we realize that this is super important to the MCU, and even Red Skull is somewhat important to the overarching themes of the MCU that we find out much, much later on. In other words, this is the perfect film to go back and watch again after you've already seen the entire film catalog. It's pretty dope. Not only that, but the origin of Captain America is very solid. While it is a bit weird to see Chris Evans' head CG'd on what looks like a teenager's body, his emotions still come through very well and it makes Steve Rogers a very lovable character. Someone who genuinely deserves the abilities he's been given. Chris Evans in general is a solid actor through and through, along with most of the other cast, including Tommy Lee Jones, who is probably my favorite character in the entire film. We also can't forget Agent Patty Carter, another strong female lead in the film, and someone who ends up having her own entire spinoff series, which I'll end up watching sometime later down the road. And finally, we also get the first appearance of Bucky as well, who's pretty important to the next Captain America film, and who's even still fairly important throughout the rest of the franchise. While I'm not personally the biggest fan of his character, I feel like in this film, he's pretty well done. Overall, Captain America The First Avenger is a good film. It is one that I do enjoy, except that there are some decent sized problems with it, in, in my opinion. For starters, this film has a very clear cut ending that's not at the end of the film. Spoilers ahead. After Captain America goes to save a group of soldiers in an enemy camp, everybody celebrates, Cap gets a medal, and I genuinely thought the film was over at this point. And then it wasn't, for like an entire other hour. This just felt very strange to me. I understand why the entire rest of the film exists. I mean, they do have to take on the villain of the movie, Red Skull, who I'll get to in a bit. But honestly, the rest of this film is just very okay to me. It's like we get a solid, enjoyable origin story for the first two thirds of the movie with a happy ending. And then they were just like, oh yeah, the bad guy's still on the loose. World War II is still happening. We should go kill those Nazis now. And then we just get a generic superhero movie in the third act. That's not to say that I don't enjoy the ending in this movie. I do. I just would have preferred that the movie had ended earlier in what seemed like the real ending. If you've watched me review these movies, you know that I like to talk about the villains. I think that they are a core component to any superhero movie. And as far as the Red School goes, he was just a disappointment to me. I appreciate him more now as a concept considering he appears in a later film. But as far as what he does in this one, He's basically just Abomination 2.0. He's got the same powers as Steve. He was a failed experiment. Fortunately, at least his motivations make sense. I mean, he's a Nazi, so his motivations are just being a terrible human being. Uh, that's, that's about it. But that's why he was just very boring to me. I don't hate him, but I also don't really like him either. And, and the same can be said for the last third act of the film. It's mainly just okay. 
At the end of the day, Captain America the First Avenger is a really good origin story. If you've never seen it, I do think that it is required viewing for the MCU. If you're thinking about rewatching it, I'd say go rewatch at least the first two thirds of it. Maybe skip the, the third act if you don't want to. I might actually do that in my rewatch for it. I don't know. I don't really care enough about the Red School to rewatch that part again. While it's not my favorite film in the entire MCU though, I, it is definitely one of the better ones in phase one. But you guys will have to wait till my official ranking episode when we're finished with all of the films to see exactly where it stacks up for me. But that's all the time we have left for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If for a reason you didn't like it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on Captain America the First Avenger are. We're going to be talking about the Avengers next and then it's on to phase two. Get ready for MCU movies almost every day on this channel until Endgame comes out. And uh, guess what? I'm getting my tickets next week. I'm hype. I'm super hype. Anyways, go ahead and subscribe for more Everyday Nerd and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.